So uh, one of the things that we do as an organization is thank um, and appreciate students um, in your chapters that have done a good job and deserve, deserve um, special awards. They're called honor awards because it's an honor to do that. Um, and these are nominated by their fellow members. So the chapter decided that the person that was nominated is um, went above and beyond in a way. And so um, they've written something about each of them and we'll read it. So we're going to start with uh, Gamma Eta. They're in no particular order, just the order I have them on my computer. Um, Aaron Smith. Aaron Smith was a member throughout his time at Marion after he acquired the necessary credit hours to fulfill the membership requirements. After becoming an inducted member, he quickly became involved in any event, speaker, or volunteering opportunity that he could find. He did this alongside having a job, research, and being heavily involved in other organizations. Aaron served as the Gamma Eta president in the fall of 2016 after serving as an officer the previous school year as we began the early stages of planning this national convention, setting the chapter up for success in the upcoming spring semester. One of his main goals was to promote science in our community. He sought multiple opportunities for our members to be a part of the science outreach throughout the fall semester, greatly benefiting our community around us. In officer meetings, there were always discussions about how we can continue making a larger impact in the community around us. In the fall of 2016, Aaron graduated with a dual Bachelor of Science degree in Biology and Chemistry. He will be attending IU's medical school in the fall of 2017 in their dual MD and Master's in Bioethics program. Through this, he will continue to have a positive impact in the community around him. It is with great pleasure that we award um, Aaron Smith with an honor award from this chapter. Is Aaron present? He, uh couldn't be here he could not be here. Okay. So is there somebody from his chapter that can come and accept his award? Uh, the second, uh, from Beta Ada Evangel. Cheyenne Steinbarger. Cheyenne has been a member of Sigma Zeta since 2014 and a president of the Beta Eta chapter for the past year. During this short time, she has catalyzed a paradigm shift within our chapter in terms of participation, community involvement, and innovative research. In the past year, we have doubled the research in research presentations and nearly tripled in convention participation and research projects throughout the year. Although she was unable to attend the convention due to illness, she played a vital role in the organization of our trip to the convention. Overall, Cheyenne has demonstrated a great example of what a qualified leader looks like, one who gives sacrificing of her time and energy to support others, the glue that holds the pieces together, one who is empathetic and understanding toward others, and one who is determined to bring our chapter to greater depth and elevated heights. It is with our pleasure that we award Cheyenne Steinbarger the honor award. And is there somebody from Beta Ada who can take her award back to her since she was unable to attend? Um, the next one is from Alpha Gamma, Anna Johnson. Hopefully we have some honor award members who are here. Yeah, Anna's here. Awesome. The Sigma Zeta Alpha Gamma chapter nominates Anna Johnson to receive the 2017 honor award. Anna has been one of the main proponents of our chapter for the last year. She is an integrated mathematics major intending to gain her licensure to teach 7th through 12th grade. She has served in the field at Canton City Middle Schools for nine, over 90 hours and has volunteered for countless hours at a local elementary school. In her free time, Anna loves to garden and spend time with her dog, Jack. Since joining Sigma Zeta, she has tutored students for more than 120 hours and helped organize our annual fundraiser and Christmas party. She has a passion for mathematics and currently serves as the president of Malone's Unbounded Club. 
which often partners with Sigma Zeta to host student events on campus. Recently, she hosted a Pi Day event, which raised money for local charities. The event brought a diverse student body together to celebrate a love for mathematics. Her outstanding service, innovation, and creativity have been fundamental to the growth of our chapter and has helped with the recruitment of many new members. It is our pleasure to award Anna Johnson the Honor Award. And last but certainly not least, um, the nominee from Gamma Gamma, Jessica Watson. Jessica Watson has been in active participation with the Gamma Gamma chapter from the beginning of her sophomore year in fall 2014. Jessica started conducting research following her freshman year in our NSF STEP program, STEM Education for Rising Sophomores, and performed well conducting field work trapping small mammals on restored and remnant prairies. From then on, Jessica discovered her passion for research and searched for opportunities to add to her skills. Jessica took over a campus squirrel project from graduating senior and really made it her own. During the summer of her sophomore year, Jessica became the crew leader for the Prairie Trapping Project. She anticipated research student needs and was able to deal with complications in the field as they came up. I came to rely on her for field work as well as assistance in the lab and maintaining the museum. During our recent migration out of our science buildings to temporary spaces, the entire department came to rely upon her. Jessica almost single-handedly moved the vertebrate collection, well over a thousand specimens, as well as much of the insect collection. Jessica hand-carried the fragile specimens and oversaw their placement into temporary spaces. Additionally, she moved a great deal of equipment from other lab spaces. Many of the faculty came to rely on her. Jessica has taken on several other projects as well. She's helped with educational science and built a website for a Long Lake field station. Jessica has worked with our GIS professor to map trees, as well as telemetry locations of squirrels on campus for spatial analysis. All during this time, she continued to lead the squirrel project. Jessica has been present for trapping for all but a few, few squirrels over the past three years and has recorded the vast majority of locations we have for them. This meeting will be the third that Jessica has attended and presented research. Jessica applied for and was twice, has twice received Sigma Zeta undergraduate research grants for her squirrel research project. While Jessica has not served as an officer, she has been the go-to person whenever there was a job to do. Jessica has typified volunteerism and professionalism and represents the best of what can, one can hope for from a Sigma Zeta member. It is our pleasure to be here.